Do you know the actual tongue weight of your RV? Well, I just found out mine and I'm going to share it with you in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. My name is Patrick and if this is your first time here at Travels with Delaney, welcome. We're your channel all about RVing and living life to the fullest. If you want to get to know more about me and my family, you can check out our other channel, TWD Life, where we do a weekly episode called Midweek Update, where we just share a little bit about what's going on with our lives, as well as some other videos of just behind the scenes, RVing, living in our log cabin and things like that. So let's get into this week's topic, which is RV tongue weight. Now, when we talk about weights on trailers and tow vehicles, the tongue weight is one of the weights that we look at. Now, I have a video where I talked about tow vehicles and weight ratings, and I'll go ahead and link that up there for you so you can check it out. But today I wanted to focus just on tongue weight because honestly, after going to the cat scale several times with our new 2020 Lance 1985, I started running some math and thought, I think the tongue of our trailer weighs more than what we thought. So let me set the scenario for you. If you read the Lance brochure for this particular model, they quote, estimate the tongue weight at 550 pounds. Now that's the amount of weight that is on the tongue of your trailer and it's going to be placed into your truck axle. In essence, it becomes part of payload. So that number is really important. And typically when I read something like estimated, it tells me it's probably gonna be a little heavier but how much heavier? And so there's usually an asterisk beside those and it'll say like without options, without propane and without water. A couple weeks ago, we were with our friends Todd and Carla Rose from the Runaway Roses and Todd actually owns a Sureline tongue weight scale. And so I asked him if we could go ahead and find out what our trailer weighed with no fresh water in the tanks and also with fresh water in the tanks because I kind of wanted to see how that would affect our, our actual tongue weight. What we found ended up being shocking. So let's go ahead and jump right into that video footage now. So I've got this um, Sureline scale that Todd Rose from the uh, Runaway Roses is loaning me. We're gonna measure the tongue weight of our 1985 Lance, or it's a 2020 model number 1985. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to lower down onto this, check our tongue weight. looks like we're registering right at a little over 800 pounds we don't even have water on board so let's go ahead and put some we'll put it back down we'll put water on board see what we're at so what i'm doing now is filling up my, my uh, fresh water tank which is 45 gallons i believe it's in front of the axle which really concerns me uh, when we got the trailer they told me the weight at the dealership was 601 on the front I just don't see how our clothes and stuff could actually make it that heavy, like 200 pounds heavier. So we're gonna find out. I wanna see what happens when we get this fresh water in here. So as soon as the tank is full, 45 gallons, we'll go ahead and take another weight. All right, we have a full 45 gallons of fresh water tank on and we are at like 950, 960. So much heavier than what we thought on this. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get Todd to help me. We're gonna remove the storage tray in this front storage. I wanna see how much that brings it down once we remove that. So we're gonna get this pulled out right now. Okay, you see the tray is out. So let's see what that did to our tongue weight. And honestly, didn't really move it much. About nine, maybe 10 pounds. So that's not where the weight is. So the question is, where is the weight? Because I was told it was 601 when we left, or right before we left Princess Craft. So it had the, the 320s full when we left Princess Craft. This tray obviously was pretty empty. We have clothes in the front. We have, um, 
you know, you're looking at right here at the axle, everything behind. So, I mean, honestly, we've got one drawer of food and we've got a few pots and pans. So it's really, it's really kind of weird why that is. So could it have something to do with the slide out being out? I don't know. Let's bring the slide out in and we'll reweigh. Okay, slide out's in. So let's go back over here and see, let's just see if that did anything to this tongue weight. And quite honestly, no, it may have dropped it maybe 20 pounds. Um, so, all right, let's go ahead and throw that tray back in. Okay. The tray is back in. Looks like we're about 960 again. Wow not even close to 550 like the brochure says. So just to recap, if we don't have water in the freshwater tanks, we're around 800 pounds. When we fill up that 45 gallon tank, we're around 950, 960. Now, the good news is our current tow vehicle, our Toyota Tundra is rated for over a thousand pounds tongue weight. So we're okay there but it's definitely adding a lot of additional weight to our payload, reducing the payload capacity, and that I'm not real thrilled about. What's upsetting is the fact that when I bought it, it clearly stated that it was an estimate of 550, but I'm not sure anybody could have guessed that it would weigh in this heavy. Now, a really simple solution to avoid this would be if the manufacturers would just weigh the tongue before they ship the trailer and put that number right here on the side, they do give me the dry weight rating for this trailer, and they give me the cargo carrying capacity of this trailer. Why aren't you giving us the actual tongue weight so that as buyers, when we're walking around the RV lot, we can actually be looking at those and getting a much better sense of whether we can actually tow this trailer or not. Do you know what your trailer actually weighs or are you still going off of what you were told by a brochure or your dealership? There's a couple different ways you can figure it out. Number one, you can do what I did and you can use one of those Sureline tongue scales. But if you don't want to spend the money for those, they run around $150. You can always go and weigh your tow vehicle first. Then if you weigh your tow vehicle with your trailer, you should be able to do some simple calculations and get a pretty close idea on what your actual tongue weight is. Anyway, it's something you should be aware of. It's definitely something we're aware of now. And in future, when we're looking for trailers, we're going to be asking a lot more questions about tongue weight. All right. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.